We are in the Still Life Academy website, in the Cinema 4D CGI Whiskey course, and we're in the group chat, and Gerard has posted a question for me. And it says, after a lot of Googling and trial and error, I simply can't seem to get my top camera to be top, bottom to be bottom, and so on. Uh, I can't seem to progress because of this issue. So Gerard has very kindly sent me a file. So we're just going to leap into Cinema 4D. And before we get to that file, a little bit of background info I think would really be helpful. So when you launch Cinema 4D, and we are in release 21, you get this grid kind of configuration come up. And the way to turn that on and off is filter and grid. In case you need to get rid of that if it's getting in the way. So there's grid, and there's also this white line going across there, which is the horizon line. So you have the horizon. Okay, so now we know what those two are. Now generally what happens is, when you open up cinema, this should look like this, as if you are in a normal 3D world. If you were to bring in, say, a CAD file, or from some other 3D program, where everything's rotated 90 degrees, you can actually shift this, what's known as the sort of grid work plane, to match up with that CAD file. Why would you not want to rotate all your CAD images or files round? Well, there's lots of different reasons for that. So in some cases, it's better to actually rotate the work plane. So if we come down to this little symbol here and you click on it, it now has its own axes and you can you hit the R button, then rotate that around. Now, in very few instances would you really want to do that, but in this instance, somehow in Gerard's file, which we'll get to in a minute, that has happened and it's confusing where the cameras then sit. So a little bit of background information on top of that. If we were to get a cone, good test to see if you are on the right work plane and in the right axes is to hit E when you are looking at the object and then go to filter and world axis. Now immediately you can see there the red, which is the X coordinates, follows the world axis of the red. And similarly with the Z and the Y. So you've always got that as a safeguard test to see, am I in the right place? Am I in the right direction? Are things how they should be? So if we now hop over to Gerard's file, which he's very kindly provided us here, and we start having a zoom around, we can see that our world grid has somehow been rotated 90 degrees. And you think, well, what's the issue with that? Doesn't really matter. We can turn it on and off with filter, and grid, and all of our objects seem to be facing the right way. The problem is when you go to the four pane view and looking at the cameras. So this one here should be left and everything's rotated 90 degrees. On the front, we're now looking at the top. And the back, we are looking from the bottom of it. So that's where it starts to become problematic when you're trying to move things in other panes and it's causing all sorts of problems. So we are going to go to our work plane and we're going to hit rotate. And now we are going to pull that back. So let's pull out a bit more and hold down shift. So we can constrain to five degree angles. We want that to be 90. And if we did filter, turn on our world axis, which it already is, but the plane's getting in the way. So let's just turn that one off. How are we doing with everything sitting where it should be? So we can check here as well. The green Y is good. X is completely wrong and Z is completely wrong. So back to our work plane. And let's just see if we can rotate one more step round. Let's go to 
G. There we go. That's a bit better. Now we can see the blue lines up for the Z, green with Y, and red for X in C back to our model. And then, as we had before, we're going to do a quick double check with a cone. Cone's coming in, it's pointing upwards, which is how it should do. Z's right, Y's right, X is right. Okay, let's get rid of the plane. Filter, let's turn off world axis. So let's have a now look at our four pane view. Front is front, left is left, back is back. Quite often I'll have this one on top. Just to look down on, on that, so you've got a side, a front and a top. So everything's working well there. So that's answered that question. And the second one Gerard asked about was the pane that he had brought in ready to attach his light material to it. Why is that not working either? So the reason is when you pull that white oh, side around the work plane, if we pull that to one side and then you were to get a target tag and the target tag needs to be the complete bottle it is now facing side onto the bottle and what that needs to be is the orientation needs to be one of the z ones and then it faces the bottle and because of the target objects now when you pull it round it will follow as expected. So hopefully, Gerard, that has answered both of those questions and you are now free to carry on with the course. Okay, thanks very much.